Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on the power aura. This is a little bit more of a complicated one, so I'll go a little bit slower. Um, but once you get used to it, it's really not that difficult. Um, once you have the add-on installed, and you can check to see if it, you'll get one of these. You can drag and drop this little thing here. Um, it says P is on it. But once you click it, it's going to open up a box. And all this stuff, as long as you have over here your little AO panel locker unlocked, you'll be able to drag and drop most of this stuff. Um, so make sure when you're doing your add-ons and installing them, setting them up, you have that. Otherwise, that might be why you can't move anything. Anyway, so basically it'll be an empty list when you get here, um, and you'll have this button, New. You click that, and it's going to bring up a uh, another chart here. Let me get rid of this. Alright, so it gives you this right here where it says Name. That's basically just for your remembrance. It doesn't have to be anything, but put something so that you know what the aura is when it's in that list when we get back to here you can see all these where it says fan and stone and all that um, the buttons below here um, you want it to say show otherwise it's not going to show up now it gives you a little blank white one here you can see it moving around um, it'll have an image on it once we get it all set up um, there's different ones you can set up it can be a buff for you it can be a debuff that you have a spell cooldown of an item as well um, and depending on what you click here and have that one depressed um, that'll give you different stuff on this list when you click this little arrow here you can either type it in but it's easier to usually just go to this list um, if you don't see what you have like you're looking for in your list um, check the name and then also it might not be in your list if you haven't used the ability or gotten the buff yet so if it's something like your trinket that hasn't gone off and you want the aspiration trinket buff um, to show up you need to go to fight a dummy or something until you get that buff and then once you have it you'll be fine and it'll come up in your list um, and like I said it changes to the different stuff depending on what you pick here if you pick buff or if you pick spell cooldown you'll get a different set of lists here um, basically I use it mostly for buffs that's what a lot of people use for it so we'll just do something like um, the aspect light here it brings an image in um, you could type that in there but like I said you can just go now underneath is where you want to have it to say whether it's on you or you want it to show up on the target that you're you know fighting or whatever you have targeted I usually leave it on you um, if it's a druid or something and you have a pet, if you're looking for something with that, it can be on a pet or click any. But then sometimes it will show up for other people that are around you that you have targeted. So most of the time it's just you're setting them up for you. Um, this is pretty much like page one here. And you got all that set up. And then you go down here, click this little arrow at the bottom. And it takes you to page two. Now this page you really don't have to change much in most of the time. Um, these are for like certain conditions like if you know you were in a fight but the way it's set up pretty much for everything you're going to use if you have anything more difficult um, you know you can always leave me a question but pretty much you can leave all this is self-explanatory that it'll only show this aspect of light if these certain things that are checked which pretty much it's anything you could be doing whether you're hostile you're mounted you're in a group that sort of thing um, so a lot of times you can skip right over this page and you go to three um, this is where you can change the now this is dragon you can drag and drop this um, but you'll see sometimes it's a little hard like to see where everything is so sometimes I'll make fake ones um, like let's just say right here I'll make another fake one real quick um, and it's just going to be, they have a thing right here at the top that says placeholder. I just picked that and then hit save. Um, and you can click it to go off. But basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have them all lined up. Another way to do that, um, really easy way to do it, is if you're good with X and Y coordinates, you can always do it with that. Um, X is horizontal, Y is vertical best way to remember that is think of like a Y like an arrow pointing down so it's up and down and then an X goes across 
so you can see you can change the size of this down here like I said you can drag and drop what you want and you see the numbers are moving so you can fine tune it there um, this little box here um, if you want to just unhighlight it or if it all goes away and you just retype it um, you don't have to have that F there you can just put MM lowercase mm and then a colon and then ss just for minutes and seconds or if you wanted it to be shorter it could just be ss and then it'll only have seconds up there um, but I usually just leave it mm ss and then I get rid of the bar I don't like the bar it kinda looks bulky um, I leave that some of them you don't need the timers so you just have like a different buff that doesn't have a timer on it you can click that off um, and then that's pretty much it you get it set up wherever you want and then like I have right here this aspect of rage you can kind of see it below um, we can take this because it doesn't have a timer on it kind of line that up underneath and then um, this last page here this is if you wanted to switch it to a different computer or ever back it up um, I do it for mine you don't have to you can save the settings um, but if you click export um, you'll get code right here and then you can save this here um, there's a file we'll get to that later I'll have that in the instructions where you can get that to reload it but you don't really need to bother basically the main pages you want to get set up is the first page sometimes the second but mostly the first and third pages um, there's also these buttons down here you can make it different you know transparency once you're done you hit save and then you can either exit out or just click that button to bring it up and down you see I have my aspect of uh, mercy so if I change that over to my aspect light you can see that the buff we just made comes up and so it's back and forth that's all it is so um, that's pretty much the basics there with power auras like I said you can do many different things with them people use them you can put them all over the screen um, some people don't even use the the actual in-game bars they just make these one thing I will say though every once in a great while they'll disappear all of a sudden if that happens and you all of a sudden don't see any of your auras you got a quick just go to your settings go to add-ons and then scroll all the way down to power auras and just restart it I'll show you another way to do that faster um, with a different add-on when we get to a different video but yeah, so that's basic power ores there. Um, just fool around with it. Like I said, there's a couple more complicated ones, but that's that's a nice first step there. If you can get that one set up, you'd be pretty good with the rest of the add-ons.